the Special Assistant in Public Communication to Atiku Abubakar, Mr. Frank Shoibu, has asked the National Assembly to make the public, or to make public, rather, the report of its investigation into the 52 billion naira special works program implemented by the Ministry of State for Labour and Employment, Mr. Festus Kayamo, across the 774 local government areas in the country. Shoibu made the demand in a statement in Abuja yesterday in response to claims that Kayamo acquired a house in the United States, valued at over $302,000. But Kiyamo, in a swift reaction, said he had declared his assets, asking those in doubt to contact relevant government agencies. Joining us to discuss this is Aded Bayo Adedosu. He is the Assistant Director of Diaspora Mobilization and Allied Matters of your state APC-PCC. And also joining us is Honorable Angu Ongu, a public affairs analyst and, members of, um, and member of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Good evening. Thank you very much, and good to see you again. Thank you. Angu, um, Thank you very much. All right, I I'm going to start with you, Mr. Debayo. Um, looking at this situation, Frank Chaibu is uh, looking at that report, and he's, at, he's, he's asked the Senate um, to publish the report on 52 billion Naira Special Works Programme. Um, apparently, these monies were supposed to be distributed to 774 local governments. Many have come to testify to the fact that these monies they never received. And this is, of course, Mr. Kayamo, who recently, just before the elections, had asked that, of course, the Economic and Financial Crimes um, EFCC uh, probe the P People's Democratic Party presidential candidate for corruption and money laundering. And here we are also querying. Um, you know, the decency uh, of this uh, particular minister. Uh, even though he has said he's um, declared his asset, the questions that need to be answered. Mr. Dedaya, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. And I said, Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. And you know the funny thing, I like the way we are starting, honestly speaking. That that uh, Festus Kiamo, my friend, my brother, asked that the PDP's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, be investigated and prosecuted. So in a, in a nutshell, to them, this is a hit back, and it's just an empty hit back, because it lacks basis, has no foundation, and has no basis, has no basis in law whatsoever. It's like the cry of somebody who is drowning it's like the noise of somebody who is in the wilderness. That is all I can see that, that, that is coming out of this. And what I always say to people is, anybody can come up with any allegation. And allegation in most instances are assumptions that actually lack substance. As PDP or Frank Shaibu established a case of wrongdoing, that is the first question we need to ask. Where is the wrongdoing? What's wrongdoing or is it a suspicion of wrongdoing that is causing this to come about? And I want to believe that my brother, Angu, will be very logical to also agree with me that it's not enough to assume that a wrong has been done when you have not established the wrong that has been done. That is the first thing in law. And anybody that cannot establish that is just on a fantasy drive. And I don't engage in that. So... I will, that's how I'm going to open, and I believe this is a non-issue. If somebody has declared this asset, have they actually gone to look at his asset declaration for crying foul? Have they, okay. have they seen the content of the asset declaration? Our people are so lazy, and it is because the media loves social media noise. Otherwise, this is not something anybody should entertain. I would have expected that PDP would take it upon itself to come out with hard fact. We have it on record. Uh, on record, And Atiku Abubakar has not denied it himself. SPV. 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 I'm sure I, I hope my brother Angu does not have anything to do with SPV or he has not created an SPV before. And uh, you know, <laughs> I want to see uh, you know, uh, I've heard so much about it. That's the good thing. You know, and the things I've heard about you are very wonderful. And I want to believe being in PDP will not make you to soil your hands 
and dent your integrity before you because you want to defend so mr Adeda, Adeda, so i think I, I, you would you would try not to butter up angle so he could say what you, 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 you you're not going to preempt him but, but but hold on hold on I, I, you're not going to preempt angle uh, as to his response but quickly when you say that a man has declared his you know he's declared his asset and then of course we would ask we're looking at um the career, the political and private career of Mr. Festus Keamu. Can you hit your hand on your chest and tell me that he has or is capable of having or owning um, a, a house in the United States that's valued at $302,000 without question? Should that not be questioned? Because again, yeah, in what sentence? Because I need Angle to come in. No, that is the question you have asked. You want me to tell me the truth? I am very afraid and scared of the Nigerian political terrain because of this pulling down syndrome. Hardly would you find a senior advocate of Nigeria, and I mean a senior advocate of Nigeria, of many years of experience at the bar, that does not have assets abroad. That does not have assets abroad. Some of them actually charge in, in, in ad currency. Where are they going to keep the money? I will use the instance of somebody like Agbakuba. Who is a maritime lawyer? Maritime lawyers are paid in dollars. Okay, let me let's bring Angu in because no, we need we no, need no, we, no, we no, need no, Angu. No, we don't have time. You took a lot of time, so I want Angu to come in. My chest. Can I beat my chest and? So it's a yes or no can question. No, no, you, you don't put it to me. It's a yes or no question. Is you have not can asked you or you can you not hit your chest and say that you can boldly I just, I go to answered, sleep? I just answered you. Okay, I just great. Give you the basis great. Let's 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 let, 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 let Angle come in. Nothing wrong has been done. Let's let Angle come in. Angle, please. Angle, uh, let's let's thank you very much, uh, my sister and my brother. Uh, I would like to say that these issues are not uh, issues that are to be politicized. Are not issues that that should. Uh, to make it look like more like a personality clash. <clears throat> These are issues that border on corruption. These are issues that border on we being accountable when giving public leadership. So for us to reduce this issue to become the issue of uh, the PDP, APC, and Tiku Kiamu. Come to think of it, what is Atiku's uh, Abi Kiamu standing before an Atiku? That uh, all the all PDP as a party to come and be more uh, slugging with uh, a Kiamu. You know, those are institutions. Atiku himself is an institution, and uh, the PDP is also an institution. So the question we should be uh, 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 bothered with is that are there is this a case of corruption? Are there cases of corruption? Are there abuse of public office? Those are the issues that we should be looking at. So it's not about Kiamu, it's not about I think it's not about the PDP, it's not about the APC, but it's about Nigerians. The money we are talking about, the SWP funds. Were those monies actually utilized uh, uh, appropriately for what it was meant for? Those are the questions we should be answering here. Well, well, Angle, to, to, to give you some and perspective, you Angle, to that give you some look into by the Senate. Angle, to give you some perspective, I'm so sorry to talk over you. That money, 52 billion naira, was for hiring 774,000 Nigerians across, I, I, I'm aware across of the local I'm government. Aware of that. And, and most importantly, um, these Nigerians were hired to take on menial jobs, such as clearing drainages, sweeping of markets, cussing grasses, right. and other services, many of whom had said those monies did not get to them. So where is the money? That is why, that, that, that is why, why, that is why it is shameful uh, and quite disgraceful that we are reducing that issue to be a party issue. It is money meant for unemployed Nigerians. Money meant for the poor in our country. Money that if it were utilized properly, our crime rate would have reduced. Unemployment would have reduced. And immediately those monies were released, the supervising minister, 
ends up buying a house in the United States of America. Even if that was done in America, even if he's a senior advocate of Nigeria for a uh, long standing, there should be an investigation. So we are not stopping. Uh, it, is, it should be shocking that someone uh, we should be talking about stopping an investigation. The Senate should investigate, or if they have already, the report of that investigation should be brought out. Mr. Kayamu said, okay, he got his money from a long time of legal practice and all of that. Good and fine. He should be able to give us receipts. I know he has been a prosecutor with the EFCC over time. Angu, are you there? We lost you for a second. Are you there? I think Angu froze. Um, Angu, can you hear uh, us? I read a from a, a lawyer that was in court with that was in uh, Kirikiri, uh, sorry, Kuje Kuje prison, of how he was brought in to to to, to represent a rogue, a, a Pakistani rogue, that was looked for by the United States government. That write-up is out there in the public domain. And the man was like, <laughs> thank God Kiamu is coming close to justice. Because Kiamu put him in, in jail for, for a number of years, and for over 10 years, he was pursuing a case. He mentioned the Farida Waziri of the EFCC, the former chairperson of the EFCC. He mentioned quite a number of names in that write-up. When he saw that the matter of Kiamu came out, that he bought a house in America, he was like, Look, Yamo is coming close for him to get justice. Like I said before, these are issues of corruption. And we shouldn't politicize it. We shouldn't make it uh, lower the standard by making it look like personality clash. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to... Be... Okay. You should give us receipt for how he made money to buy a house of over... Uh, 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 $300 million. Uh, All right. Dollars. $300,000. $300, okay, let me go back to Bio. Bio, one, you have just one minute uh, because um, my time is almost up. Um, do we see, because you're saying this is baseless, there's no need to have this conversation, but then Angu is saying, look, this is bordering on corruption. This is a case of accountability, and he is still a sitting minister uh, in, uh, you know, in this country, and he has to be accountable to the people of Nigeria. If there are questions, there are red flags raised, should this not be investigated? And I want to ask you sincerely, do you see this being investigated? And if there be a need for him to give us, just as Angu said, receipts, let us know exactly how these monies were spent. Can we trace it? Do you see that happening in one minute? Okay, uh, it's rather unfortunate that we have very limited time for this discussion. One minute. It is a huge one. It is a huge one. And I'll say one thing. Every Nigerian, if there's an issue that needs to be investigated, by all means, Due process for investigation should be followed. Initiate the process for investigation and have the investigation conducted openly. But I'm going to ask some, I'm going to quickly point some things out which has not been established. The fact that somebody is a supervising minister or is, a, is, is responsible for some ministries of government department is not enough reason to black accuse him of corruption or of wrongdoing when the actual substance of a crime has not been established. He, he, he made a statement earlier that I don't want to go, the, first, the language he used, I'm not going to go into that space with you. But I will tell you one thing. If you have conscience, you will agree with me that when you want to allege, you need to have your facts beyond mere saying, beyond grandstanding. But it is obvious that what you are doing is sensationalism. Okay. You have not even done your own work to establish a to establish a crime, but you are making the noise. Yes, he already explained that this money was actually in the US before he brought the money back to Nigeria. But before he became that was before he became a minister. And when he became a, when he was about to become a minister, he requested and wrote letters. To the authorities that it's okay. been sent to. Okay, we, 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 oh, oh, we have to go. We have to go. I'm sorry, your one minute is over and we have to wrap it up. We have to wrap it up. Angu, in one statement, in one sentence, do we see this being pursued or is this just one of those things that is swept under the carpet, being that this is a minister who's in government and, of course, the next government that's going to be sworn in is the APC. Do we see this issue being pursued to the latter? In one statement, please. Yeah, we are not sure. We are not even sure about the APC government being sworn in yet. 
But uh, like I said before, I will not, I will not sit down there and someone will be taking a post. Just, just hold on, Bayo. We don't have time. We don't have time. We don't have time. Angle. Angle quickly. We have to go. We have to go. We have to go. I'm so sorry, gentlemen. We have to go. We have to go. I'm so sorry. We cannot be unruly tonight. No, this is not going to happen. We're not having a conversation. Everybody's barking at each other, and we're not having a conversation. Unfortunately, guys, and that's our time. I want to say thank you. I did. I did by your. the assistant director of the Aspera Mobilization and Allied Matters of your state APC PCC, and honourable Angu Angu, a public affairs analyst and member of the People's Democratic. Party. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. We apologize for uh, the behavior of our guest. Uh, my name is Mary Anokon. We'll be back tomorrow talking for development. Have a good evening.